Hi everyone, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and today we're looking at a Lemon KTV Android based karaoke player from China. This is $190 for a bare bones system or $350 if you buy a model which includes a hard drive loaded with songs of dubious legality, neither of which includes microphones though. It's based upon Android 4.04 and although you can install anything you like from the Google Play Store, it actually comes pre-installed with Xbox Media Center PPT, PPS.TV. The general system performance on Android is, is pretty atrocious, so I wouldn't plan on using it for anything other than karaoke and streaming movies, say. It comes with a TV-style remote control, which is somewhat infuriating to use as a keyboard. It does do mouse emulation, but if you're planning on doing a lot of typing, maybe using the internet browser or for email, I would uh, really suggest getting a Bluetooth keyboard. It's fine just for karaoke stuff though. Loading your own songs onto the system is possible, but it's a lot of effort. You'll need to use a spreadsheet like Windows Song List Editor, and there's no automatic passing of video data, as you might expect with, say, the ID3 tags of an MP3. Videos just don't have that information. So you need to manually type in the song name and artist, what language it's in, and then re-export the list. Navigating the main karaoke app is fairly easy, though it is designed for an international audience, so you will find a section like language where you can choose from different language songs. The menu is transparent, so in theory whoever's singing can carry on singing without interruption. However, you can also download an app for iOS and Android, which allows you to select the songs without actually touching the interface on there. This is a lot better, it just queues up into the background, similar to how Smart Glass with uh, Dance Central works on the Xbox. So around the back here, you'll find a Wi-Fi antenna and Ethernet port for your internet connectivity. There's an HDMI port or component video output. There's also optical and RCA audio outputs. Now, although the HDMI will carry system audio and even music from videos, it, it isn't connected to the built-in amplifier for the microphone so for the karaoke part of it you will need to plug in either the optical or the uh, the component audio out there's also usb ports and an sd card slot for plugging in external storage as well as a mini usb port which allows you to connect it to a computer and access the internal drives for transferring songs so should you buy one for the price, it's certainly the cheapest, most authentic Asian karaoke experience I've been able to find. If you've tried the Wii U karaoke channel or the Xbox Live karaoke app, for instance, and been disappointed, this might be exactly what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, and be sure to read the full review and enter to win over at makeuseof.com, where you'll also find an embarrassing sample of my karaoke skills, or lack thereof.